right so here we are let's put the shopping away this is tesco's i look i can drag through edge backwards look at me bloody hell <laughs> i do it's not even a windy day out there or anything. well it's reasonable i can't do this <laughs> This clip is about as much use as a chocolate teapot, I tell you. Right then, let's start. So, my shopping consists of... Sorry, my shopping consists of... Um, oh, let me show you before I begin. I picked up one of these. This was on the reduced bread uh, bread trolley that was right in the doorway at Asda when I went past. It was beckoning me over as it does. I mean, there's usually like bread rolls and all that sort of stuff, and I never really bother because I'm not much of a bread person. But this is a cookie gift card from me to you, or from me to me. Um, it does say vegan at the bottom there. Um, yellow stickered. Originally was eight pound, and I got it for three pound seven. So it's a vegan caramel flavoured cookie made with dark chocolate chips, caramel frosting, caramel crunch and a caramel sauce. And it is rather nice. It is a bit sweet. I ain't going to lie. Um, <laughs> it's not an empty box. Don't panic. <laughs> I'm not going to show you the empties. But it is a bit gone. So that's what it looks like inside. And you can just write a little notelet. So that's rather nice if... Uh, you're after a little gift for somebody and don't want to buy them. Oh, it says place stamp here so you can even send it like that. I'm not sure if you would, but hey ho, what condition it'd be in by the time you got it. You know what DPD drivers and Royal Mail are like, they stomp all over everything. Right, Tesco's, let's start. This doesn't look right either, but hey ho. It's clipping the air back, that's all I'm bothered about. So I've got some more of this, absolutely love it. This is the cinnamon and raisin toasty loaf from Irwin's. Love this, it is clearly marked vegan. Suitable for vegans, didn't finish it, just pop it in the freezer. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I've got a few breads that I put in the freezer. I've got paninis and all that sort of stuff. Ryoshi buns, so I never run out. Talking of which, I've got some of these, which are my favourite, they're great. Um, I used to love the Aldi ones, but I've not been in Aldi properly for ages. Um, it just pisses me off, to be honest, how they have it, you know, the January and any other time, it's like, mm, not so much, but they are improving and I did get my cheese from there last time that I was in and a couple of other bits that were close to hand but I always need somebody with me um, or I've got to grab an assistant and ask them to reach me bits and bobs from the freezer bit but at the minute I've got like bits that I've got from like when I went the last time to Aldi and I stockpiled a shed load of stuff um, so yeah these are vegan by ingredients. So these are the sweet and salty microwave popcorn. Um, yeah, they do say suitable for vegetarians on the home shop thing. And it says it there, veggies, but the ingredients say vegan. So yeah, I thought, well, I've got these then. I can just pop it in the microwave and hear it going pop, 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 pop. <laughs> as you do. <laughs> Bit of fun one evening. It's just handy to have in. Right, okay. This is, I love it. This is the Califia Farms. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Uh, the Double Espresso Cold Brew Coffee with Almond. I love this gorgeous um, and it is clearly not vegan I know but it's still gorgeous 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 right um, I really like it it's just you know you can get some that are like really really strong but that is just spot on um, 
I'm trying to get things in that are a bit more economical. So yeah, I might have to spend a bit more for more, but um, it saves just getting them in every week. And pizzas are okay. You know, I do like a pizza that's ready done and everything um, from supermarket. But I do think these are a great, great value. These are the uh, pizza bases, Tesco's, obviously, it says it on the front. Um, where are we? It's prepared to a vegan recipe, not suitable for milk allergy sufferers because this allergen is present in the environment. Um, so yeah, if you've got a milk allergy, it's like, <laughs> make your own judgement. But we've clearly said that it's, you know, it's in the factory somewhere. Um, so I've got, these are £1.20 for two, and I just think they're just great to have in. I did put the three, however, <laughs> however, whether people have seen my vlogs and things, I don't know, or it's just school holidays, isn't it, and kids like to make things and do things for fun. Um, yeah, we're okay. So, if you can't find the big ones at £1.25, I think, they do do the mini ones, which is very, very cute. Perfect for little ones, actually, if you want to get them to do their own pizzas. Look at that, aren't they cute? Um, and you can freeze them, but these have got until the end of October on, so they're perfect. And that is what I've got them in for. So I don't have to think, oh, I need to get a pizza. If there's one that's on offer and I like that particular one, then I will get it in. But, I don't really have to, do I? Um, the Greek style plain yoghurt from Alpro, that's on offer for 150. they They've got loads of different flavours. I picked this up because I want to do, um, like, um, not wraps, because I haven't got any wraps, or did I? Oh yes I did. I want to get, I've got some um, pitta, not pitta, um, kebab meat that's vegan um, in the freezer. So uh, I thought I'll do like a, a mint yoghurt dressing to go on it and this is perfect, the Greek style plain. I don't know what it's like just to taste on its own, because some used to be really, really tart, but I think your taste buds definitely change as you become obviously more vegan, but. Um, so I always say, if uh, you know, you've tried something when you first go vegan and you didn't like it, go back to it later because your taste buds do adapt. Um, these are the vine tomatoes, about 70p, they're gorgeous. They smell beautiful when they come out of the packaging as well. Um, radishes, I've got some blueberries. Are they the one keep perfectly imperfect blueberries? And they're really, really tasty. Um, right. My son laughs at me still using my uh, Grinch bag we're in the summer months. I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, these are the Stockwell um, Company lightly salted tortilla chips. They look a bit squashed but they're fine. I thought I could do like um, my vegan mints and do like a chilli um, and put some of that on the top of this with some apple with vegan cheese grated on the top. Oh that sounds really good. Um, because you can get the heater kits with the chips um, from that Eldo El Paso, but they work out really, really expensive. So this would be a much cheaper way of doing it. I mean, you don't have to use Beyond Mints if you're somebody that's like in a big family, for example, and you don't want to spend four pound on a bag on a, a packet of the mints that, to be honest, won't stretch as far. Um, but because it's only me, <laughs> and I love the Beyond Mints, it's like I just want to use that. I just want to be able to have something I really enjoy. Um, 
so why not? I don't go out, I don't do a lot of things. I wear my wigs, I wear my makeup, but that's about it. Um, I got some of these, these are fantastic. I love these because I'm absolutely rubbish at rolling up wraps. I've watched so many people doing different techniques and putting a little bit, and I can't do little bits. I like to do shovels, so I think maybe that's my downfall. Um, and these are great because they come in packs of two and this is perfect for me so I can have this so later and this one another time and it's not going to go rock hard um, so yeah this is the only thing from old El Paso that I sort of bother with but I do get occasionally the um, spice mix things I don't know why I'm doing that but hey um, sometimes I do but I'm trying to, yeah, trying to find things a little bit more economical than uh, how I used to, well, you know, I'm sort of trying to rein things in a bit. Um, as my son is no longer classed as in higher education, so all that side of things is ending. So I'm having to sort of think a little bit cheaper for myself, because some of my money's going to be knocked down a little bit. Um, just a little bit, but <laughs> hey ho, it is what it is. Um, Forest Feast, these are I think 2 50 instead of like nearly £4. Um, I struggle with eating nuts because of my health issues, um, so I've got to be really careful with these. Um, it's colossal cashews, almonds, macadamias, pecans, and jumbo peanuts, and a slow roasted. Uh, together with hand harvested sea salt and crushed black peppercorns, a signature favourite. I'll just say on the back there, vegan. But they do look really nice, and these are the sort of things that I like to have as a handful, and that's plenty in theory. I know I'm going to get carried away and be poorly, but it is what it is. These are fantastic, the Grover's Harvest Microwave Whole Grain Rices, about 50p the maximum. Um, I don't like a lot of rice, but these are rather nice, um, and the right kind of price as well. Uh, I've got a kitchen roll, like that there. I, mean, I have to hide my kitchen roll in the cupboards, I used to have an overdoor um, kitchen roll holder <laughs> one of my kittens he like stands at it quite literally on his paws and so it all unravels and it's all over the floor and then I've rolled it back up again and as fast as I put it back up again when my back's turned he's like and then it's all scratched and just a mess and I end up throwing it off it away so I thought right that's it um, Coffee, of course, I love these. They are perfect for me. I have got a jar of coffee here and I do sometimes have it with a bit of soy milk or something, but it's not the same as this. I really like this. And like I said, I don't drink or anything. Um, I might have the odd occasional glass of something, but that's about it. So these for me are my treat. I do, I absolutely love them. Right, let's put the receipt out of here. Really sad, it didn't work. Usually I get a cat running across the living, uh, across the kitchen floor as well. Right, so. Another bag. This is heavy. He was like, will you be alright with that? And I was like, yeah, it's fine. Right, I hope you can hear me over the top of the dryer. It is becoming a bit annoying, but if I turn it off, I'll forget it's on. Cucumber. <laughs> we all know what cucumber looks like. Um, I don't buy, I haven't done a lot of salad for ages and <laughs> and I just thought, I just fancy a bit of salad. And then I'm going to do it with that mint yoghurt thing and have some, yeah, bits on the go. I've got some of this, uh, oh, I can't even say it now, the Madagascan vanilla extract. Um, I am going to make um, some overnight oats, it's been ages since I've done any and I just thought, you know what, it's about time I got back into the routine of that because it is really nice and filling and healthy 
um, and just good, love it, and cruelty free of course because I'm doing it vegan. Um, yeah, so I thought I'll get that one in. This I've seen, but because it's on the top shelf and I've gone into Tesco's, I've never been able to reach it down, and there's never been anybody around typically to reach it down for me. So this is really, really bizarre that they do this like this, but this is Pot's Tikka Masala, authentic Tikka Indian sauce with roasted cumin, curry leaves and smoked chilli um, cooking sauce, just in case someone picks it up and thinks it's a can of pot. What do you imagine? <laughs> just fancy a drink. Uh, yeah. Um, it's vegan by ingredient. There's... Uh, oh, it does say on the back meat, veggie and vegan recipe options, which is good. I can't say what um, the, other, the other things are. I, I don't know. You'll have to check it out, the ingredients on the back and see. But they do do a few sauces. Um, they do like um, a fajita type thing. Um, sauce and there's another curry one, Kiralan, something like that. Um, but yeah, it comes in this, which I thought was a bit strange, a bit quirky, but hey. And I'm hoping it's nice, I'll let you know when I do a curry with it what it's like. Um, I'm still finding it a bit weird that it's in a can, but what an idea. Uh, I picked up one of these mild salsas, these are great for either the dips and the crisps or I could add it into my, um, my, you know, the thing that I'm making if I decide to use it, but this is great, I like it. Um, slightly running out of room. This is beautiful, I tell you, £2.69. I'm only, I'm only good at prices remembering, but occasionally things stick in the head. This is the Filippo Berrio, and this is the Vajora Gugliati. I think that's right, no idea. Um, it's made with aubergines, basically. Peppers, tomatoes, courgettes. It's gorgeous. I was like, oh, as I was eating it with my meatballs. And it's just really, really rich, but really tomatoey and mmm. And I've got last week, I think it. Oh no, I nipped out, didn't I? So I'm not on the hunt for black, <laughs> no black potatoes, and and then I went down one aisle and I got this, which is the arabata one, which is supposed to be a bit ooh, spicy. So anyhow, so I picked that up. I want to try because I'm, I'm terrible for like sauces, not using them, not doing them. Uh, pineapple chunks, I picked up two of them, or I ticked for them. The woman or man picked it for me, obviously. Um, I thought instead of getting these little tiddly pots that I've been buying, get these in. They're about £1.10. Um, the last ones that I picked up were from Aldi and they were really, really tasty. Um, yeah, although I know pineapple's pineapple, but still, it's sometimes it's the juice in them could be very, very sweet. Um, right, tomato puree, because I go through a shed load of it with these new pizza ideas that I've got. Um, one pepper. Oh, don't fall, please. One butternut squash, so if I decide to do, uh, I want to do um, a chilli. I'm trying to get a bit creative and thinking outside the box because I'm sick of buying stuff in and it's like gone in a meal. So if I can make something that lasts me a couple of meals, like a chilli, I used to do a butternut squash one. Um, and it was amazing. I used to use green lentils, so maybe just maybe. I'd love to get my slow cooker on the go again, but it's like, I've got no space for it right now. Um, bin bags for the little shits <laughs> in my life. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. Good boy. Hey, eating your vegan food. Right, on to the last bag now. My shopping come to £60. And I'm pretty impressed with that. Because when I was going out and going with somebody else to help me, it could go into nearly a hundred pound. Um, I've ordered the cats their food, so that should be here Thursday. Um, and I'm trying to make things stretch now as far as possible. Um, I know a lot of people are doing the same kind of thing, but I'm trying the hardest now to re-educate myself and think, you know what, let's, let's do this instead of doing that. Um, carrots. Do you know what? I've been buying the little one pound ready peel chopped um, carrots and it's like as soon as you open them you've really got to use them and they're great for munching as you cook it, you know. Um, but you go back to use them again a, a day or so later and they'd be white and blah. Uh, and I thought, I'm fed up with this. I did it for a couple of weeks and then I thought, no. And I, I thought, I wonder. I mean, obviously they would do them, but you have to sort of think, <laughs> do, I, do they do that? Am I just being daft? And there we are, sliced carrots. I think these were like a pound. So I thought, perfect. So I'm going to get myself a section in the freezer, the big freezer, to start doing all this stuff. I'm going to find a bag put these into so I can show you and put it in this side then but yeah petit pois with these are great in the shepherd's pie um pitted sweet cherries I'm gonna get some raspberries next time as well. Um, one garlic bread. Oh, I've got cold wet hands and I've just wiped my forehead. Oh, no. Mushrooms. I know I can get frozen mushrooms, but nothing deep to fresh with those. Uh, meatballs. And beyond, these are my favourite. Love these. Um, I know the Aldi ones are great as well, but I don't do Aldi very often anymore. Um, beyond mints, my favourite to use for so many things. Um, these were on offer for two for three pound, I think. The squeaky bean ham, which I love. Great on my pizzas. Um, and a sweet jam lettuce. So there we have it. Right, I'm going to put all this lot away. Um, so I hope I've inspired you, giving you a bit of food for thought, giving you some ideas. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, I say thanks for watching and I'm going to put this lot away now, have a drink, get something to eat and I'll see you soon. Bye!